This weekend, ISIL released video of the apparent beheadings of 21 kidnapped Egyptian workers in Libya. And within hours, Egypt launched airstrikes against ISIL targets inside Libya. For months now, ISIL-affiliated militants have been making gains in the desert nation, which is in chaos, four years after its longtime leader, Muammar Gaddafi, was overthrown. We begin with this report from CCTV's John Gilmore. Libyans took to the streets in wild celebration when Muammar Gaddafi was captured and killed in October 2011. His ouster, after more than 40 years as Libya's leader, left a power vacuum. Soon, the country of six million people was in chaos as Libya's militias battled for control. Four years on, the violence has produced two rival governments with UN negotiators trying to find a solution to the crisis. And just like in Syria and Iraq, ISIL has taken advantage of another failing state. Its leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, announced last year that Libya was part of ISIL's expansion plans. Soon, hundreds of hardened ISIL extremists were parading through the streets of Derna, a town in the eastern area of the country. They've declared it part of their Islamic caliphate. In this video, some Derna residents are seen pledging their allegiance to the militant group. And ISIL has brought its deadly brand of violence to Libya. Ten people were killed when an ISIL-affiliated group attacked a luxury hotel in Tripoli last month. Libya has huge oil reserves, and ISIL sees that as a major funding opportunity. The desert nation also holds strategic importance for ISIL. Located on the Mediterranean coast, it is just a few hundred kilometers from Crete, the largest of the Greek islands. And with the reports of ISIL already setting up training camps in eastern Libya, fears grow about where it will strike next. John Gilmore, CCTV.